Hello, uh, welcome to our OPSI video. This uh, video is the uh, first video in a three-part series that is showing you how to deploy software to clients using OPSI Win scripts. Now, in this video, we will build a package for the program Notepad++. Notepad++ is a source code editing program for Windows. Uh, we will uh, create the package on the server using the program Opsi uh, New Prod. We will build the Opsi when scripts used for installing and uninstalling uh, Notepad++. We will uh, then test the Opsi when scripts on a client, and then we will install the package on our Opsi server. Then we will test the install and uninstall of Notepad++ from our Opsi server using the management interface Opsi Config Editor. And note, we assume in this video that the client is already integrated into the OPSI server. It has the OPSI client agent software installed on the client. And of course, we have an OPSI server set up. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to our OPSI server and then change directories to home OPSI products, where all of our products are going to be built. And then we just enter the command OPSI new prod. And here, this uh, first window is asking us what type of product we'd like to build. Uh, local boot products are products that are usually applications, and uh, that is what we want to select for uh, Notepad++. Netboot products are usually reserved for products such as operating systems. Select OK. Now, the next window is asking us for a product ID. Now, as long as we pick a unique product ID, uh, it will be fine. So let's pick Notepad DP. And the product name, uh, this is the product name that will be shown in the OPSI config editor uh, window interface. So let's just do Notepad++. Plus. A description, and this is a description that we will see in the management interface. Let's just pick source code editor. Now this is asking for the product version of Notepad++, Plus Plus, and today we're working with version 6.1.6. Uh, package version, this is the OPSI server package version. This is the first package that we built, so let's call this package version 1. And this is asking us if we need any licenses. So we do not need licenses for Notepad++. Plus Plus. It is uh, not a license software. Let us select OK. And for our setup script, this is asking us to give the name of the setup script. Let's just call this setup in 32. And for the uninstall script, we want a Call this, let's say, uninstall 32.ints. And we don't worry about these other scripts at this point. So we select OK. And do you want to create a uh, product a dependency? This, for example, uh, a product dependency could be something like the, the Java virtual machine version, like uh, version 1.5, 1.6, or 1.7, but Notepad does not need this. So let us select no. Uh, do we want to create any product properties that can be seen uh, you know, from the interface and uh, set from the interface? And for Notepad++, the answer is no, we don't want those. And maintainer name, let's put anything here, admin, uh, maintainer email, let's do info at uib.de. And let's select OK. And you can see here a package source directory has been created in home, upside products, and Notepad PP. OK, and that's done. Now we see the end of Notepad PP, and we do a list. You can see there are several subdirectories. The client data subdirectory is a subdirectory that's going to contain, uh, contain our installation scripts and our Windows installer uh, program. Uh, the subdirectory OPSI is going to contain uh, information about our products. So, uh, for example, it's going to contain the control file. Look at that control file. It has uh, the version contents and the names of our Win scripts. Now, the first thing we uh, let, we can do is go into client data, and we want to put our Windows installer in this directory. Now, if you go to the Notepad++ website and click on download, you can download the uh, Windows installer.exe. And I've already done that in my server, placed that in my server's temp directory. So if we copy that temp, add plus plus, and copy it into client data. And I also created, before this video, a 
a logo, an icon, a picture that's going to be seen on the client side of the page as we're installing and uninstalling Notepad++. So let's go ahead and copy that here as well. Notepad G. We'll copy that here. And next, what we want to do is uh, put some OpsiWinst scripts in this location. Now, if you've never created an OpsiWinst script on your server, the first thing you want to do is get the OpsiWinst Opsi script templates. And you do that by uh, entering uh, the command opsi-product-updater space dash i, space dash bb, and this, when I hit enter here, it will download, among other things, the Opsi templates. And I've already done that on the server, so I do not need to do that again. The templates are cop are uh, installed at slash opt pc bin slash install slash Opsi template. And first, let's copy the setup32 in script to this uh, client data directory. Then let us also copy the uninstall 32 template to this directory. And uh, before we continue, I'd like to point out something about the Opsi scripts. So let us go to documentation, which is in www online at www.opsi.org slash English. And if we go down here and we click on documentation and info, and then we click on Opsi getting started, PDF. And then we go to uh, chapter 5 and scroll down to this first picture. We can see that the setup script has some header information in the beginning. And the first thing the setup script does is uninstall the software. And then it installs the software. And now the uninstall program also uninstalls the software. So instead of repeating code in two different places, we're going to put the uninstall code in a third script. So we need to download that script or we should copy it from our template to our client data directory, which is del sub 32 ins And we've done that. So at this point, we have our Windows installer, we have a graphic that's going to go on the client side, and we have our template scripts, but we need to make those specific for Notepad++. And so in the second video of this three-part series, we will go ahead and edit these uh, template scripts and make them specific for Notepad++. So at this point, this concludes the first part of the video, and please see the second part of the video series. Thank you very much.